In this problem, we have a disk that is rotating with an angular velocity of two radians per second and an angular acceleration of one radian per second squared in the opposite direction. We're asked to determine the velocity and acceleration vectors at point A, which is located at a radius of one meter from the center of the disk and at a 30 degree angle with the horizontal. First, we're gonna start with the velocity. So we have our formula for the velocity V is equal, so V of A is equal to VG uh, plus omega cross R. And uh, we know that the velocity of G is zero, so we can eliminate this and we can simply solve the velocity at A is equal to omega cross R. So we know omega because we are given omega. Uh, omega is equal to two radians per second in the k hat direction. And this is actually negative two um, because if we assume our coordinate system as follows, um, a positive rotation is uh, in that direction. Omega is actually pointing in the opposite direction. So we have to add a negative um, to that. And this is going to be crossed to our radius. And our radius is, again, uh, this vector over here. Um, so that's uh, starting from the point uh, to the point of interest. Uh, and we can determine that uh, by using... Um, with just a cosine and sine relationship. So r is going to be equal to uh, r cos uh, theta in the i hat direction and uh, plus r sine theta in the j hat direction. And this is simply determined uh, from uh, the geometry. So let me simply rearrange over here. We have um, r, which is one meter. Uh, so, one meter times a uh, cos of uh, 30 degrees in the i hat um, plus sine of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. So, we can solve this um, with a determinant. So, we have velocity being equal to i, j, k. Um, first we have the omega, so the angular velocity, which is just negative two radians per second in the k hat direction. And then we are going to have um, our um, radius, which is r, or one times cos of 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees, and zero. Okay, and uh, when we do this, um, the way we solve this determinant is the i component is going to be equal to these components times together minus these two components times together. The j, negative j component is going to be equal to these two components multiplied together minus these two components times together. And the k uh, component of this cross product is going to be these two multiplied together minus these two multiplied together. And since there's zeros every or in the first row, in the second row, sorry, there's two zeros, um, most of these terms cancel and we're simply left with uh, two um, sine of 30 degrees in the i hat direction uh, minus two cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And uh, we can simply solve for the sine and cosine, um, and uh, sine and cosine of 30, and we get the following. That velocity of a is equal to uh, 1 in the i hat minus 1.73 in the j hat, and the units are meters per second. And this is our first um, part of the solution. All right. The other way you can use uh, to solve this problem is the right hand rule. So if we use, um, since we know that all these vectors that we're dealing with are um, perpendicular uh, to each other, um, we can just simply use the right hand rule 
uh, to uh, solve the cross product without actually having to go through all these um, the determinant. Uh, but essentially what we want to do is we know with our right hand um, we're going to point our um, index finger in the direction of uh, the um, radius. Uh, we know that our thumb is going to point in the direction of the uh, angular velocity, which in this case is actually um, into the page uh, because it's negative. Uh, and we see that our middle finger points uh, in a direction that is um, downwards um, and to the right. It's a little bit slanted because again we have um, that uh, theta. And so uh, what we can do is instead of um, finding the cross product, we find the unit vector in the direction of the velocity and we multiply it by just the multiplication of omega times r. Uh, and in this case uh, we get the same exact answer. Uh, so first we have to find the unit vector and the unit vector again we say the velocity is going to point in this direction right um, so this is going to be the direction of uh, the velocity uh, because of the cross product with the radius which is in this direction and um, the an omega which is going into the page um, so when we do that um, we find a vector that points in this direction and if we multiply the unit vector times the total speed at point A, which we can just find by multiplying r times omega, simple, simple multiplication, we get the same uh, exact answer. So uh, to find uh, the, uh, velocity, the speed at A, um, so v A is equal to omega times r, uh, and this is going to be equal to uh, 2 radians per second uh, times uh, 1 meter, which is 2 meters per second. Uh, and uh, then we need to find the unit vector in the direction of VA. And the way we do that is we know uh, this um, vector, we know this uh, direction. Uh, and we just need to shift it uh, by 90 degrees. So instead of pointing this way, uh, we want it to point um, in that direction. So we shift it uh, by uh, a 90 degrees. So we have our vector, our radius vector pointing in that direction. And this is the horizontal. We know theta. Um, and we know that our unit vector in the direction of the velocity will point somehow in this direction. Now, this angle is 90 degrees, therefore uh, this angle over here with the vertical is also going to be uh, theta. Um, and um, given that, we know that uh, to find this unit vector, u1, and we're going to add a hat because that's the um, sign for a unit vector, uh, we know that u1 hat um, is going to have the following components. Um, so the x component is going to be the sine of theta and um, i hat in the positive direction and then the y component is going to be negative uh, cos of theta in the j hat direction. Okay. So now that we have the unit vector we know that the magnitude of VA times the unit vector u1, which is in the direction of VA, is going to give us the vector of VA. So we have just found the magnitude of VA, which is 2 meters per second, and we're going to multiply it uh, by sine of 30 degrees in the i hat direction minus cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction, and this yields 1 meter per second in the i hat direction minus 1.73 meters per second in the j hat direction. And this has units of meters per second. And this is our final velocity. And we see that this matches with our previous results um, for VA. So for the acceleration, we know that uh, A, the acceleration vector, is equal to alpha cross R minus omega squared r 
And notice that this omega square is not a vector. We're just taking uh, the uh, scalar um, and we're taking a square of it. What gives the vector is this radius. Um, so this is again the component due to alpha and this is again uh, the uh, centripetal component due to omega. Um, so um, as you remember, the acceleration has uh, two components, um, one with alpha, so the cross product, um, which in this case is going to point uh, in the following direction uh, because uh, alpha is in that direction. So uh, a, a of a, um, and this is the um, tangential component. Um, and then we have one due to omega, um, which um, points in the negative r hat direction and it's with respect to omega squared so this is going to point in this direction here um, and um, this is going to be the a of a um, acceleration at a um, but this is going to be the radial component um, and when we add those two vectorially then we get the total acceleration so let's go ahead and uh, calculate the following so this is going to be equal to one uh, radian per second in the k hat direction and again this k hat direction is positive because we're given it uh, we're given that the direction is uh, counterclockwise which we assume to be the positive direction um, and we're going to cross this uh, to that same radius so this is going to be uh, one meter times uh, cos of 30 degrees in the i hat direction uh, plus uh, sine of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And from this, um, then we subtract that radial component. So this is going to be minus uh, 2 radians per second, all squared, um, times uh, that radius. And again, we already include the negative sign, so our radius is still positive. So this is going to be uh, 1 meter times uh, cos 30 degrees in the i hat direction uh, plus sine of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And we can go ahead and uh, solve this, these two, or this one cross product, and then add that other portion to it. Um, so the cross product is going to be solved in the following way. So we have i j k and we have uh, 0 0 1 radian per second squared and then at the bottom we have our radius which is uh, cos 30 degrees and sine of 30 degrees and then 0 in the z and then we have minus um, the these two uh, components over here so minus 4 uh, cos of 30 degrees minus 4 sine of 30 degrees. And then this first one is in the i hat direction, and this is in the j hat direction. So we can now go ahead and uh, solve uh, this uh, the same way that I mentioned before um, and get the following results. Negative sine of 30 degrees uh, in the i hat uh, plus cos of 30 degrees j hat direction minus 4 cos of 30 degrees in the i hat minus 4 sine of 30 degrees in the j hat direction and when we uh, pull these terms the i and j terms together we get negative 5 uh, sine of 30 degrees in the i hat direction uh, plus 5 cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And if we uh, solve the sine and cosine, we get that the acceleration a is going to be equal to negative 2.5 uh, i hat plus 4.3 j hat meters per second squared. And this is our final answer. And again, 
We don't need to use this determinant method to solve this cross product. We can also use the vectors and the right hand rule. Um, so it, the same concept applies where we need to find the unit vector in the direction and then we just uh, multiply the magnitude of the uh, tangential acceleration um, in the direction of this unit vector. And this unit vector in this case uh, will point in that direction. So it's going to be um, this vector plus 90 degrees. Again, you need to watch out for these two directions, right? So alpha and omega are in opposite directions. So we're essentially just rotating by 90 deg degrees in the opposite um, direction. Um, and you will, same process as, as we did here, um, and you'll get to the same answer. And now after, so use the right hand rule just to solve this cross product here. Um, this here, you just keep in the same, same method. Um, and remember to add these after the cross product um, to the to this, and then you get uh, the same final answer.